Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Eternal Flames. My name is Blaze, and today we're going to go over planes. This is actually an awkward request because I was hoping to hold off on these things for a little while. However, it seems that people are having more and more trouble with them, and I'm getting more and more questions as to how do I plane? So, we're going to go ahead and answer that question. First things first is we're going to build a basic, basic frame. Now, generally you want planes a little bit longer than your normal vehicle. And they're generally going to be a little bit thinner, at least for your first one. Later on down the line, you're going to start using one similar to what's in the shop. And let's just go ahead and take a look at what the devs have actually built for us at one point or another. Look at this bad boy. Now that's a plane. However, this is for someone who's just now getting started. And they managed to hit tier 5, right? Get their plane parts. But we don't have a lot of parts. So in the spirit of all the vehicles we do, we're basically going to do it based on the idea of what if I don't have a lot of stuff to work with, okay? Well, first things first, your outer wings are generally going to want to be pretty far out. And you're kind of going to want to protect them just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to build something of a shell, right? And we're just going to kind of build up like this, right? If you notice, we got two layers, approximately, let's see, um, 11 blocks long on the second layer. Let's go ahead and just make that 12. And then on the last two, we add an extra two. Now up here in front, we've got a total of... Let's see, about seven blocks side to side, three blocks tall. Now, I just uh, got to double check real quick. Yeah, there we go. Now, here's a pro tip, okay? Look at your wing after you place it down, and you're going to see the tier whatever it is, okay? In this case, it's tier five, because that's when we first get these things. And that should always... Be pointing forward okay Th that's always the front of your wing so things are gonna go this way okay or air should anyways you're gonna be going this way anyways so if you notice we've got our wings up in such a way that we can actually protect it a little bit not a lot we don't want to overweight it and here's a here's a key tip you're only gonna need two of these I personally bought four made a biplane but for every one of these big wings you have, you're going to gain a ton of lift. Now, what is lift? In this case, in this particular game, lift is the amount of weight that these wings can carry. The higher tier wings you get, the more lift they're going to have, so the bigger creations you can make with them with fewer wings. Right? Makes sense. Um, essentially, you want this lift to center out. Now, since we got a lot of weight in front, but a little weight in back, what we want to do is we want to take these rotors, right, and stick these back here. Now, essentially we want a similar design, right? In this case, we only want two blocks out instead of three. This will protect your thing a little bit. I'm using white blocks, once again, in the spirit of um, using as little as possible. So if you notice, right now we've got four wings, basically two rotors, two wing wings, right, or airfoils. The last thing you're going to need is this bad boy right here, okay? Now, why am I sticking a third rotor that's facing upward? This is actually to help you with steering and to kind of balance out your craft. Believe it or not, this is a lot more important than you think. So, we've got that, right? Let's go ahead and kind of... Bounce this out a bit. We'll take a couple blocks. You don't want to stick anything in front of these unless it's shielding. But that's my personal idealism. You're welcome to do what you want. Now, basically, two blo or let's do one block. One block away from this, we're going to do this. Kind of make a little plus sign, right? There's our plus. And then, essentially, we want to, once again, like always, protect our pilot. At least a little bit. It, it's a plane. Honestly, here's a fair warning. If your plane gets shot down, if you lose one wing, 
just one wing, your entire creation could fall to pieces. This is a vehicle where the idea is prevent losing a wing. Now, how can you do that? Well, if we go into hardware here, you've got these right here, these electroplates. They look kind of like wings themselves. If you add those, plus these extra blocks down here, and protect these wings, you got a better chance of staying in the air. But once one of these wings goes, you're kind of SOL. Anyways, on that note, let's take a seat down, right? We want something of a nose, because, you know, no one knows like the nose knows. Okay, there we go. Now. Since we have bigger wings in front, you always want your front heavier. Just a um, pro tip once again. So we're going to use some heavy blocks to kind of weigh down the nose. Now. Why am... Oh. <laughs> I seem to have screwed that piece up. There we go. Okay. So now we got a heavier front, right? We've got this little setup. Um, essentially, you could widen up these areas up until about here right and then we're gonna go ahead and take some triangles fill in these blocks right here and more or less we're just filling that space now I recently found out that apparently supposedly these curved blocks these uh, triangles actually uh, mitigate damage wherever they're facing away from so this way is gonna be where the damage is gonna go supposedly I'm not sure how true that is don't quote me on that but it is just a little tidbit of information that people have been saying um, I'm actually gonna have to look at myself and find out for myself but in the meantime so Let's see, we've got all these down, right? We've kind of rounded out our plane. A couple of you going, well, what about weapons and things like that? Well, that's kind of why we've got these sheets over here, right? I'm going to go ahead and do like this. I know that will supposedly point it towards the wing, but... It also makes it a little bit rounder so that you can um, kind of roll around if you hit the ground. Which is equally as important. I'm just going to use a heavy block corner here, just to kind of weigh down the front again. Okay, so weapon, weapon choices. You got a couple, okay? If we go into hardware here, you can use SMGs. Okay, I've actually seen planes use SMGs. However, if you're new to planes, my recommendation is going to be more or less these plasma launchers. So let's go ahead and pick up one of those and... Let me sell some of my older blocks. I've been recently upgrading a couple of things. Yeah, I'm getting rid of some of this stuff. Okay, there we go. And we'll go back into hardware and... We'll just grab two plasma launchers for now. Tier 3, right? Now keep in mind there's going to be some trial and error. You are going to have to kind of bounce around um between practice and all that once you make your first plane i'm hoping that our first one here oops is going to work just fine i've been known to kind of screw this one up every now and again if it messes up we'll just come back here and make the adjustments and i'll show you guys the adjustments let's uh let's do like this there we go and we'll just leave that back area like that. And finally, we want... I guess like this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So we got our basic build done. We've got our guns on. You're welcome to tweak this however you feel. Um, personally, I kind of enjoy this kind of design. But you're welcome to always redesign as you see accordingly. I've seen people with big ships. I've seen people with just strips. Like they literally just build a strip across. Those don't last very long. Just going to let you know. There we go. Okay. And we could actually stick a couple blocks on top here. 
So, a couple of you going, okay, we're set to go, right? No. No, we're not. <laughs> You're like, what? what do you mean we're not? Get this. Wings themselves have no propulsion. So, we need a couple of these bad boys. Thrusters. Now, once again, in the idea of starting materials, right? We're going to go ahead and just use starter thrusters. We're going to put two on either side, right? Make sure we match these up, because just like always, balance. Balance, 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 balance. Okay, so we got that. Let's, uh... Let's actually do like this. And then... You'll, you'll find I always end up doing this where I just end up tweaking like little tiny things like all o over the place. Oh, actually that's a better idea right there. Boom, boom. Boom. There we go. Now, you can stick guns on the top. Just keep in mind that most of your opponents will be below. If you stick guns on the top, I highly recommend doing a full SMG set. Make this thing a dogfighter. Woohoo! For now, I think we'll leave it here, and like always, let's take her into the practice ring and see where we go. I can't speak English. Okay, so we're here. Fire up the jets. Press and hold spacebar. And we have flight. Now, if you notice, I'm not just holding spacebar, right? I'm actually kind of toggling it a little bit. Here's the thing, you want in between 45 degrees and 60 degrees. That's uh, going from a flat to a straight up. If you go straight, straight up, you'll get some, but you'll start to stall. And to go down, press shift. Okay, let's get back in the air a little bit. We can press shift, and it'll point us back down. Alright, so there's shift. Left and right will tilt you. Now, when you're tilting, press and hold spacebar, right, to continue to go a little bit faster into your turn. Like that. See? Now, if you notice, we're still a bit heavy. We're still a little bit sluggish. If you want, you can remove some blocks, which will, of course, make you lighter. But just for getting flight, just for getting stuff started, there you go. But, once again, we're using tier 1 rockets, not, you know, higher tier rockets. I'm pretty sure we could stick some higher tier rockets on this, so... Just for the idea that the wings are tier 5, right? We're gonna say that you have some better rockets you can go into, alright? For those of you who just want to learn how a plane works and how to get it off the ground, there you go, you can stop watching now, you're good to go. I ain't gonna force you to stay. For those of you who want to see what happens when you get a few better rockets going, stick around. We're about to light this baby up. So these are tier 5s. If you notice, I bought a tier 8 at some point. But these are more in the area of where you actually get your plane. So let's stick these bad boys on. There we go. And then we'll just stick a tier 3 up here for... Uh, shits and giggles. Now, just like with um, a blimp or something like that, you can essentially stick rockets that face upward and stuff like that to help you with turning and all that fun stuff, but me personally, I say let the wings do that work. Let's go straight into practice once more. For our setup. And we'll get the rockets going, and you notice we're a little bit shakier, but look at that much stabler flight the builds a little bit bulkier but look at that we could definitely fly this all day long now if you notice the nose right now is trying to tip down it means our nose is probably too heavy you're welcome to tweak that as you see fit but if you notice our flight is very stable very sturdy we can actually turn very easily we can't point straight up because we'll still stall but if you notice, we can definitely hit past that point, that 60 point, and just keep right on going. On that note, 
here's um the last tip I'll give you, and then I'm gonna go take off and start blowing stuff up. If you need to make your plane lighter, if your plane is too heavy, you can use helium blocks to lighten up your load. The problem with using these helium blocks, you're going to run into a bit of drag. Helium blocks will actually slow down your machine significantly. Now, as you saw earlier with the smaller thrusters, like what we got near the top there, small thrusters and helium blocks might not be your greatest decision. But if you've got some big old thrusters, but you just got a problem with like certain parts being too heavy, I'll start a couple of heliums, lighten that thing up, and get going. As for me, I'm obviously going to go have some fun. So, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Take care, everybody. Just remember, I can fly twice as high. It's in a book. Take a look. What, you guys don't like Green Rainbow? Go watch Green Rainbow. I'm advertising Reading Rainbow. Later.